Four-year-old Shakayek is probably too young to remember her close encounter with death. But her parents say memories from April last year continue to haunt them. Fed up of poverty, they decided to move to Europe with the help of a human smuggler. We travelled from Afghanistan to a certain place in Iran by car and then there was a long walk to sneak into Turkey. It was very cold as we were walking around a snow-covered mountainous area. My daughter was freezing. We felt that she would die of cold, so we started a fire to keep her warm. I dozed off momentarily and she got burnt. They continued their journey and were caught by Turkish police, who handed them over to Iranian officials. Ultimately, they made it back to Afghanistan. Kamkai says he approached Afghanistan's Ministry of Refugees and Repatriation for financial assistance. The ministry sent him to Kuzulay, the Turkish Red Crescent. Kuzulay rented a small shop, paid five months' rent and stocked it. They then handed it over to Kamkai Ghulami to earn a living. We have started this project to create favorable conditions for the illegal immigrants who are returning to Afghanistan. So far, we have set up 29 businesses that are benefiting some 300 people by creating economic opportunities for them. Kizilay officials say they are encouraged by the outcome and plan to expand this project. Many Afghans say the economic conditions here are so dire that they feel they have to head for greener pastures in Western Europe. And for that, many have to cross Turkey. Last year alone, Turkey deported some 56,000 illegal immigrants, many of them from Afghanistan. The Turkish government says had it not been for Turkey, there would be a flood of illegal immigration to Europe. But the European Union is not fulfilling its financial commitments towards the refugees. Ankara says it would be cruel to simply deport those desperately in need. It wants to initiate large-scale, long-term projects in poor countries. Projects that would give children like Shakayak the chance to chase their dreams. Hassan Abdullah, TRT World, Kabul.